What's good, fam? This your man, Jimmy Conway, BeatsForLyricist.com, music production tips. In this video, we're going to go over track mutes and pad mutes. And they're basically ways for you to add flavor when you um, do drops for your, for your beat or your song. Say you want to drop the drums out at a particular point. You want to drop out the, the sample, your keys, whatever, so that it just doesn't sound like a monotonous, a monotonous loop, so to speak. So, so right now I'm in track mute mode. So I had this beat I did a while a while ago. <clears throat> Excuse me. I had a beat. I had a beat I did a while ago. And if you see here in this red area, that's where my track mutes are. Okay, it's on my snare. This is my intro. So you'll basically hear the sample first, and and then. At this fifth, at the fifth bar, the drums will drop right in. So, take a listen. Make sure you have your headphones on or your or your whatever good sounding listening device you have. Whether it's a good pair of speakers, good pair of headphones, good pair of uh, yeah, something. This probably won't work on the phone as much. So just listen to the. Just look at the red. As you can see, they're, they're muted automatically. And then when it hits that fifth bar, it's going to unmute. Okay. And I did that by just hitting the pads here. And I'm going to do a couple more drops and stuff right now. Take a look at the pads at the bottom. I'm going to be hitting my pad controller. Now let's see if it worked. Actually, I know it didn't work. And that's my fault. You're supposed to put it in overdub mode. Overdub. Make sure you're in track view. Make sure you're in track view. And when you're in track view, make sure you hit overdub and play. So I got overdub, and I'm gonna hit play. That's a common mistake I used to make back in the day. I shouldn't even be making that now, but. Okay, you get the idea. So now I'm going to play it back and you're going to see all my track music that I just recorded. All right, so you get the gist. And the great thing is, let's say 
if you didn't mute it long enough or you muted it too short or you muted it too short, you can come in here. Let me just make sure I had the select tool. If you click here, you could drag this back and forward. So let me drag out a little bit. Let me see something. Okay, so let's say on the hi hat here, I want to make it a, a longer mute. I'll just stretch that out. I'll put the play button here. And I'll just hit play, not play start. Play start goes to the beginning. Watch this. Yeah, on that beat, I have two different hi-hats, so, yeah, that's why you hear that. But, so, yeah, you could definitely stretch out your, you could stretch out your track mutes, just like that, okay? Okay, so let's uh, unmute all that. The other thing you could do is pad mutes. So, if you come over here, you can go to pad mute. And you can mute your, you can have, um, you can mute your pads, you know, same way, kind of, but it's a little bit different how you got to do it. You got to uh, automate this. So with your pad mute, you want to come up here. Let's see. Uh, where am I at? I want to go to my hi-hat real quick. That's the most busiest. I want to go to my hi-hat. It's the most busiest track I have. Just give me a second. Please, there we go. yeah, there we go. See, I had, I know I had two hi hats on this track. That's why it only muted one. Okay. Um. So what I'm gonna do right now? This is on pad. G11 and G12. I'm gonna do a pad mute on both of those. So give me one second while I set it up. Okay, so I'm set. I know I'm gonna hit G11 and G12 when I want the pads, when I want my hi-hats to mute, okay? So we're gonna come over here. We're gonna hit ready record. We're gonna hit the right button, excuse me. Hit right. Hit play. See, I'm hitting the pads now. Now you're gonna see my 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 pad mutes over here. And that's basically it, the difference between pad mutes and track mutes. Track mutes you can do live and you can edit your track mutes the way you want. With the pad mutes you have to um Just do it the way I showed you. <laughs> All right. This is your man, Jimmy Conway, PeacefulLyricist.com, music production tips. This is how to make your song into, how to put your song in the pad mute and how to put your song in the track mute and how to automate your pad mute. If you have any questions, drop them below. And if it's your first time here, make sure you grow, grab your free drum kit in the description below. Go grab your free drum kit, and there's some other drum kits for you. Just look for beatsforlyricists.com slash, loop slash loopmasters, or just look for a loopmasters link. It has a bunch of um over 4 million different sounds and stuff you can use, royalty-free. Um, 
Also, if you want to check out what my studio looks like, you could check out. Um, I don't have a picture of it. I can show you on YouTube yet, but um, you can check it out through the Amazon links below. And that's all I got for you, man. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you got something out of it. This is your man, Jimmy Conway, BeatsForLyricists.com. Please like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell for more videos and tutorials on the MPC software. I'd love to have you. Peace.